Hi, so we're talking about flooded and AGM batteries. So what are some of the similarities and differences? Both flooded and AGM batteries contain an electrolyte mixture within the battery that is comprised of approximately 35% sulfuric acid by volume. So approximately 35% of that liquid inside the battery is sulfuric acid. Flooded batteries have excess electrolyte or free flowing electrolyte um, within the cells uh, that, that cover the cells usually by half to three quarters of an inch or cover the plates by half to three quarters of an inch. And flooded batteries are known for off-gassing during charge and discharge operation. So again, while a battery is on discharge or charge, they give off hydrogen gas. Uh, this hydrogen gas is known to be explosive and corrosive, so care must be taken when working around flooded batteries to ensure there's no sparks or open flames and that we wear the proper safety uh, protective equipment such as eyeglasses, rubber gloves. AGM batteries on the other hand have all the electrolyte absorbed in their separators. So they have thick absorbent glass mat separators uh, in between the positive and negative plates. So we only have enough electrolyte in that battery that all that electrolyte is soaked up into those glass mat separators. This means no free flow acid sloshing around inside the battery. This means that the batteries are, are non-gassing. Uh, so during normal charge and discharge, the batteries do not emit any off gas. They do, however, have a rubber valves in the, in the vent caps that if there's too much pressure built up, they will allow that pressure to to bleed off so that the battery doesn't uh, bulge and, and want to blow up essentially. So some of the advantages and disadvantages to flooded batteries are they're less expensive. So the technology has been around for years and years. They're widely available. Um, so again, it's a less, the least expensive battery technology there is. The downside to them is they're considered hazardous material or dangerous goods. So care, again, must be taken when working around them and when shipping the batteries, we must ensure that we have the proper dangerous goods paperwork and the proper certifications for handling them. AGM batteries, on the other hand, are slightly more expensive. Now, these prices have come down in the last few years, but when it comes to automotive starting batteries, we're seeing them more common and more available in the market today, but they still remain a little more expensive than flooded batteries. The upside is, they're considered non-hazardous material. They don't off-gas during normal uh, charge and discharge operation, so we don't have to take the same safety precautions as far as paperwork and handling uh, when we're dealing with AGM batteries. So for more information on flooded and AGM batteries, visit us at cdnrg.com.